Now, so we're going to take a look at this generation of hot points, which um, I know this isn't like from oldest to newest, that's certainly not it. But what it is, is the oldest-ish to the newest British made, manufactured, proper um, hot point there was before um, Indesit completely just manufactured them. So, uh, right, we'll take a look at the quality between them all. So we're going to start off with, um, it's not the oldest, um, but it, it was uh, extremely common in the 80s. In fact, Hot Point really was still just completely common throughout its entire run. And to be honest, only now really Hot Point has started to lose traction in the market a bit. Um, I'm not saying that it's going away, but there we um, there we go. So anyway, we'll start off with this. It's 9530, produced from around 1986 um, to about 88, and then there was an update for uh, 9534. So um, no no real change as such, just more different markings. So anyway, but uh, both this and the 9534 were the most common models there was so we'll take a look it's no by no means the top of the range um so obviously you have a control dial um and this is a, a pull out push in system um we had these push in push out buttons which was a changeover from the rocker switches which was the previous generation. Um, door handle wise, these door handles, as you can see, chip. Um, and with the, this particular machine, um, the door clips here have broken. Uh, it's quite common as well. Uh, then we've got these side strips, which always break. No different with this. Um, simply because of how fragile it is. But the thing is, this had four roller uh, feet, which meant that leveling this up, you can't level it up or, uh, unless you've got a completely flat, um, smooth floor. <sighs> yes, it was great for moving around the kitchen. So, you know, you moved it to your sink, hooked it up, whatever, the wash day, and then put it away afterwards at the end of the day. So obviously I've tried, uh, what I've done, I've put a towel underneath which has stopped it moving and pretty much levelled it up in a way. So we'll take a look at the drawer as well. So this drawer, also common. Um, so also the main wash, pre-wash, fabric softener. And this kept, pretty much ran till um, the Hot Point Aquarius WM60 series came out, so this ran till about the late 90s, that drawer. <laughs> right, so there we go. That's the quality on that. Uh, right, this is a hot point. So this is a hot point Cassata WM63, um, and it's the uh, ice blue uh, colour scheme. Um, so the Cassata range is a short production run of um, the common WM models. Um, it, so we went on WM62, 3 and 4 as well as the matching dishwashers and uh, there was some TL dryers as well in the range. Um, so it was a short run that consisted of was supposedly four colours, but they only have produced three of the colours. Um, so we've got the ice blue, which is a slightly rarer one um, here. And I think this is just faded rather than being pistachio green, but we can't quite tell. But here's the original door, at least. Anyway, uh, quality issues with the door. No different then. Still got door issues 
So these clips here, um, the, the trouble is once it cracks round here, which it often does, um, and it's very common now at this age, the, and then the door will just fly off. Yay. Right. Uh, we've still got a mechanical dial. But what's really, really lovely about this dial is that when you get to a program, it will click properly into place. The old 95 series kind of did, but it was a bit crude. So when I tried to select, say, uh, fast spin, which is marked out on the dial, it won't always click into place. So that's fabric softener and that's spin, but I've actually now gone over one notch. Not so here, and it never happened. You would never, ever get this in the wrong place. Because it went solid. Uh, you can even select final, uh, final rinse here. Uh, and that also went solid as well. There we go. So where is the selectable program? It will go completely solid. And you will never miss a program either. You couldn't overshoot it as much. Not unless you're a bit, you know, fancy it like that. Um, never <laughs> any issues at all with the timer. I can't remember any real issues. Um, other than the WD-61 that my the parents had and the board decided to fry itself uh, from something. I don't know what. Uh, timer issues uh, exist quite a lot with this. Um, so there's that problem. Uh, back to over here. Again, buttons. Now it's a push out system, but you have a little green marker there to say when it's out, which is really nice and memorable. And then a positive on off button as well. For example, a door. Um, the actual door lock itself never seems to fail. It's very, well, that's, that's kind of locked now because I turned it on. So, there we go. We'll leave that. Uh, right, drum-wise as well, if you notice with our this, it's 4.1 kilogram rated. We have this huge lip here. Um, and then with this, it's 5.5. If anything, it's slightly wider in the new one, but it actually isn't. All it is is that lip. Uh, it's just been taken away. And you can see the evidence here. This should unlock in a minute. Oh, there we go. We've gone we've unlocked again. So, yeah. Uh, so, we've managed to extend to 5.5 kilograms. Um, that's a GC motor. This is a GC motor, but they do sound very different. But this is a GC motor, I'm sure, unless it's been replaced. Right. So. That production, uh, this, the, these went for about a year, but the actual series, so the WM60 series ran from 96 um, till the WMAs came out. So the WMAs, this is the later series one. So there's two series. There's the uh, WM, uh, so this is the ultimate. So there's the WMA60 series. And then we've got the latest WMA 70 series. Uh, if you had the washer versions, variants, it starts off with WMA like, uh, 30 and 40. And then the later ones became WMA 50 series. Yeah, that's right. I'm sure that's right. Anyway, difference between the earlier versions. So the early versions that took after this, that was rated 5.5 kilograms. The ones that came out came with this drum which was also rated to 5.5 kilograms, and then later on, it was up to six kilograms. Right, something, now this is probably like Hot Point's peak um, of um, engineering and usability and all this. So we had a, a drum, um, it wasn't as easy to work on as this one, unfortunately. Um, but this drum now remained in production um, until basically they shut the factory down. Um, it came with the blue paddles. Uh, you also had grey uh, you, you had green ones and blue ones. 
Uh, if you had grey ones, you had the later inset copy version, generally. Right. So, now, obviously I've gone from two mundane ones to, we've got two top of the range ones here. Uh, so this isn't quite top of the range, top of the range. It's a WMA-74, it's 1400 spin, but even these came with brush motors. And so this has an FHP brush motor in it. And um, if you had the WMA, uh, WMM-75 like I've got in my collection, and or WMA-76, they were rated 1600 spin. A DC cutter one, which is extremely quiet. A couple of things though, uh, a lot of these do rattle on spin. Um, and also, we went from four rollers, we had two rollers back, we now have two rollers still. I'm sure we do. Um, and fast wash now becomes like ridiculously fast. Literally, uh, it's come like 24 minutes long. Uh, even more weird, you get mini load. Yeah, that's that's mini load for a one kilogram load. So it becomes 0.5 kilograms. Ridiculous. Right, so the reason why this is kind of a fancy it's time, so there's no on off button. You know, we just turn it off on by pressing one of the buttons and it will come on. For example, oh, that's interesting. It's like me without actually like hitting anything. I won't let you actually do anything. That's interesting. So it's weird how we can go to like 95, but our variable spin only goes to like 800. I've never known that, but you can do it. Anyway, back to this. So now we had the wider door. Uh, and this is the later one. This is the later version. The earlier version is much more rounded like that. Still kind of oblongy, kind of that shape. Um, and then they kind of curved them more out like this. So you can see Hot Points style inspiration from the series. We've gone from round door, round door, now to this door, to this door. Um, and then to the final generation, which is this. So, in 2001, Indesit purchased a 50% share in Hot Point. Now, what you don't realise is... So this comes with PowerStream wash system. It's put on there. However, Indesit's latest 2000X series that came out, the Evolution series... Sorry. Indesit's uh, Evolution series that came out at the same time as the new WMAs in 2001 also had PowerStream wash. So, clearly, there was some kind of sharing going on. You know, but I suppose Indesit could steal Hotpoint's idea of power stream. Or it was Indesit's idea and Hotpoint stole it. Who knows? So anyway, but the good thing is, is that even though Indesit owned 50%, everything underneath this Hotpoint is Indesit's own. Uh, is Hotpoint's. Everything that's in this hot point is still hot points own. There is nothing indecent about it. The only slight thing I can find anything is the concrete weights, and that's about it. Well, not even that. I think the only thing I could ever find, so the only thing indecent I could find was this draw. Um, so it was a bit, to be honest, and it's a bit like that, because the thing is, Indesit carried on using this in some of the Indesit Prime wash machines um, way after Hot Points had gone. So we're talking like 2014, 2015, you still had them in Indesit Prime washing machines. So 
But other than that, I just can't really... There's nothing else that's Indicit-ish. The only thing that makes hot points on par with Indicit is the rust. Literally, the rust. Ugh. Right. We'll move on to this. So this is the last ones made. And if you notice, these two have the words made in Great Britain. Made in Great Britain. Um, but by this point, yeah, it was made in Great Britain, but Indicent now had 100% uh, share. They just owned Hotpoint. And a lot of everything that you use now was shared with Indicent. The drum kind of remained the same, as well as all the cabinet and the weights and the pump, oddly enough, um, because the pump was still at the back. The pump was still the same, the ones used on that. It was the same filter housing still. Um, still had the same back plates and all that. Same drawer. But now, unfortunately, um, we now have an we have Indesit programming and Indesit control boards. And I mean, both the top control board and the back control board are Indesits. The programming that you have on here. Now, the programming on this is unique to the Ultimas. You don't find it anywhere else. However, um, the actual wash action is still in Desit. Um, And if you had the lower WFs, uh, they were just in Desit's rebranded, really. Um, now, in Desit did tune their, the Indesit washing machine slightly different to the Hot Point ones. So the Hot Point ones had much vigorous uh, wash action so you did end up with a better machine as with a hot point um but by this point yeah it was just most it was all an inset run kind of thing and then eventually in 2000 and correct me if i'm wrong 2000 i've got 2000 late 2007 early 2008 um the hot point factory in britain had gone so that means even those drums went and that was it then so this design then carried on the drum had a redesigned copy from indesit which then become a sealed unit up to this point all of these had bearings and spiders you could change although it was quite much more difficult with these two than those but so the inset design um had a couple of problems so one would um there was a recall on the, some of the drums because they would tear apart that's because there's no rigidity and the other thing was it was sealed unit of course so when the bearings did go which they would go but in fact it was actually the spiders that mostly went in the end um it was the end of life of the machine um, but they carry they stay they stick with some of the design um, to that point, right? And then by after two thousand eight, the WM New Ds that came out. Basically, some WMF, some WML, and some W some WD are still British made with the correct drum in. Um, and that really was the last design then, after that. Yeah. So there you go, There's, this is the British, proper British hot point generation race that's going to occur. And there's going to be uh, four, five races that are going to come up. We've got a Con 60, um, acrylics 40, um, begrudgingly because unfortunately synthetics 50 doesn't exist on this range. Uh, the quick wash, which Believe it or not, there is a hidden quick wash on the 95 series. Um, uh, spoon race and a wall race. So there you go. So that's going to come up and enjoy.